Now, from sporting stardom and Hollywood fame to the murder trial of the century, O.J. Simpson leaves behind, well, it's an understatement to say this, a complicated legacy. So, days after the brutal murders of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown, and her friend, Rod Goldman, 95 million people wow. watched live as he tried to evade police in a white Ford Bronco. It was the most extraordinary kind of car chase mm. that was real and happening in real time. Ultimately acquitted of the murders in a fully televised 24-hour day trial, his erratic behaviour continued, including in this interview with Ruby Wax, during which... Well, he did the most extraordinary thing. Let's have a look at it, and then we'll get Ruby to explain how it all came about. Have a look. I mean, it, it's it's bewildering, and I know you and I have talked about this before, Ruby, on live stories. But uh, but you know, people in the context of his passing will be fascinated about how that came about and why, in the context of having been acquitted, one would make a joke like that. You, you talk us through how how it happened. Well, I used to interview my guests, especially somebody like O.J., about 17 hours in a row, and we had them for four days. So they get tired, and um, I could stay up, but they get tired, and so he could start to loosen up. I think he thought, oh, I get it, she's a comedian. So he was outside the hotel room, and I was inside the hotel room, and my producer said he was looking for a knife uh, from one of the left, you know, outside trays where somebody had ordered room service, but he couldn't find one because that would have surprised me even more. So he found a banana and thought it was amusing that when I opened the door, because we were just doing, hi, my new guest is O.J., he decided, he decided to stab me with a banana. And his, um, his manager, I won't name names, wanted to cover for him. So he said, O.J.'s a real kidder. And I said, what, what, what do you mean? And he said, he likes to imitate films. So I said, well, what film? I can't make this up. I thought he'd say Psycho. And he said, Cats. Um, uh, I think they were both a little off. Wow. There's no explanation for I that. Mean, Cats it... hadn't been made yet. I mean, just, just so they were both do... a little bit fantasists. Yeah. Did he also do, and maybe you can't say this, I don't know, but I'm going to venture. Didn't he also play an April Fool on you, which was also, in oh, the yeah. context, really inappropriate? Well, he was a little scared of me because he kept saying I reminded him of Marcia Clark, who was his prosecutor. I looked like her. So yeah. he was always playing with me, trying to uh, tease me that he had done it, but he didn't want to admit it. So he drove by his uh, judge, Judge Ito's house, who was the judge during the trial, and he uh, opened the window and he just swore on the top of his lungs. And then he would do other things. He would suddenly quote um, a rhyme at me. Wasn't he uh, you know that one that goes... Um, Lizzie Borden had an axe, she gave her mother 40 hacks. When she'd seen what she had done, she gave her father 41. Now, why tell me that? Then we were driving in a white uh, van, Ford. We thought that was poignant because I couldn't get him in a restaurant. I'd call a restaurant and I'd say, my guest is, <laughs> my guest is OJ and you just hear the phone slam down. So we did the whole interview for three days in the back of a white van. He didn't see the irony. But he kept making us drive back and forth past his house. Uh, and then he'd ask me, did I want to know where the knife is? The whole time he was saying, he was teasing me to say, uh, ask me, ask me. But I think he was delusional. I don't think he really knew what he had done. Because at one point he said, as a footballer, he could convince himself of anything. He could talk himself into um, winning a game, even though he wasn't winning, and he could block out everything else. So I think that's what he did. Yeah. He blocked out everything else. But a little bit of his brain was saying, well, O.J., you did it. Are well, you... Do you have any doubt... Sorry, no, do you have any doubt in your mind, as much as you feel you can say, that he was guilty? Well, as you were saying, he called me up after I did the interview. And uh, it was April 1st, and he called me up and he said... Um, it's O.J., I did it. And then he went April Fools and hung up. So, wow. um, I mean, he was more or less telling me what he had done. But um, my friend Helena Kennedy, who was a QC, said, don't go near it, because his agent said, I'll tell you mm. um, if you get me a job in the U.K. And she said, move away from this. Yeah. I'm not an investigative journalist.
Yeah. I mean, what, what's extraordinary? Our strange Ruby? man. He would start a sentence. No, what's that? No, carry on. Carry on. My um. He would start a sentence because I edited my own shows, and he would scramble your head because. The question I'd ask, he'd go in kind of spaghetti loops of the answer. So by the time he came to the end, you forgot what you asked. He was a little bit like Trump in that way. So your mind got scrambled and you couldn't really think, what were you trying to ask? Mm. And also, be direct, Ruby, be direct. But by 2 o'clock in the morning, where it was kind of desperate, he took me to a hotel room. His manager took him there, where he needed money. So he was signing baseballs with his name on it that they could sell for about 50 cents to the public. And that's why we were in a hotel room and he decided to open the door and stab me. It's, it's extraordinary. With a banana, you, a, 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 a say. Lot Death of people, by fruit. A, 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 lot, a, a lot of people... <laughs> A lot of people will say, Ruby, you look at that and you go, look, he, you know, as far as he's concerned, he's acquitted, he's innocent. You would have thought the thing in his mind will be, well, who are the killers? So for someone in his position to make jokes around the killers, to make jokes about the, the yeah, murder of didn't... his wife, is, is such a, a, an indicator for lots of people, I'm sure. Of a psychopath. Mm. I mean, they believe they're above the law. So he thought, ha ha, I got away with it and was more arrogant than he was in real life. Yeah. He really was in inflated. Yeah. He was a narcissist, boy, did I'll he, tell you did that. Did he ever express sadness about the loss of his No, life? he wouldn't know sadness. Mm. He was showing off, you know, he wanted fame well, at any cost. And so infamy is the same for these kind of people, well, they, they, as long as he's in the news. The, the, the significance of your interview, I think, Ruby... And I'm is that, sad they, they, that he's dead. Yeah. I mean, they say, don't they, murder psychologists will say that often murderers are desperate to reveal. They have to tell somebody, and often they do, and that's where the evidence comes from. I think your interview was the closest we've got to of whether he was being playful, whether he was winding you up or whatever, of him almost wants to tell you something... And you know, uh, but then retracts and then uses it as an April Fool's joke. I thought it was extraordinary, yeah. really. Do you, how do you sum that interview up compared to all the interviews you've done? Because you've done some incredible interviews in your career. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I'm, I have a book out, and it's, it talks about all my interviews, so you can buy that book <laughs> <laughs> and find out my opinion on all my interviews. That suits us, because they're running out of time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we'll buy the book. Uh, Ruby Wax, thank you, you know so much. the name much. of the book? Uh, oh, it. yeah, go on. Thank you. Oh, what's the name of the book? Uh, it's called I'm Not As Well As I Thought I Was, which I think sums up <laughs> OJ and I. I've read it. It's brilliant. Everybody should read thank it. Ruby, such a you. pleasure and a wonderful insight. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed.